Now wait! Before you pet us, we need to tell you about a disease you can get from touching us. Oh really? What disease is that? It's called contagious ecthema virus, or commonly known as ORF. It's a DNA virus that infects sheep and goats and can be passed on to humans. It's also called contagious pustular dermatitis, or sore mouth. Oh wow, I've never heard of that. How do I get it? Humans can get this virus by a couple of different ways. One way is by direct contact with infected animals. The other way is by handling contaminated equipment. Animals can transmit this virus to each other through cuts or abrasions in the skin and by direct contact like touching nose to nose or skin to skin. That is great to know. But what are signs of disease that I might see on you? The most common lesions in animals is a blister that develops into a crusty scab or sore on the corners of our mouths and around the muzzle. But these sores may also appear on the lower legs and feet. And the lesions on people? People can show similar sores around their mouths and commonly develop sores on their hands and feet. They may also develop symptoms of pain, mild fever, or fatigue. Wow! How do I prevent infection? The ORF virus can remain in the environment for a long time, making prevention of infection difficult. But there are management techniques that can lessen the possibility of exposure. Disinfect buildings that where animals live and eat. Isolate new animals until you are sure that they are not infected with ORF. And remove any harsh brush from pastures and that may cause cuts or abrasions. There is a vaccine available that can help protect animals that have previously been exposed to the virus, and it can help prevent repeated infections, so ask your favorite veterinarian. But if you are already seeing signs of disease in your sheep or goats, you can prevent the spread of disease to yourself by wearing rubber or latex gloves when you're handling us around the mouth or muzzle area, especially if you have open cuts or wounds. Always wear closed toed shoes and never forget to wash your hands. Something to remember is that humans don't transmit ORF to each other and your significant other is not at risk from you. Hot dang! What should I do if I think that I or one of my animals is infected? If you think you have become infected with ORF, or notice any kind of unexplained lesions, you should start by calling your physician. Currently, there is no approved treatment for ORF, and the lesions should heal in a short amount of time. But the lesions can become larger ulcers and become infected with bacteria, and become a lot worse, if it is important to keep them dry and covered until they are healed. Immunocompromised or immunosuppressed people can develop serious symptoms, so don't hesitate to call your doctor. If you think any of your animals have ORF, you should participate in the practice and sanitation techniques listed previously and call your veterinarian for further instructions. Most animals will recover from the sores in a month, but some may have severe infections that need to be treated. That sounds reasonable. Where can I go to find out more about ORF? I'm glad you asked, Farmer Bell. You can find information on the CDC website or the National Animal Health Monitoring System website. Thank you, Sheep and Goat. You've been incredibly helpful and informative. I'm so glad you told me about ORF and how I can be vigilant for spotting future infections in my farm. This will go in blue pairs. <laughs> virus that infects sheep and goats and can be passed on to humans. It's also called contagious pustular <laughs> <laughs> on the corners of our mouths and around the muzzle. But these sores may also disappear on <laughs> Okay, we got that far. <laughs>